Okay guys, I'm getting ready to go to my 39 week midwife appointment and hear me out here. I posted a video about five things I would do, five things I wouldn't do. And one of them was I was gonna wait till 40 weeks to do any type of induction situation. And I stand by that in the medical sense. However, I was processing through the induction process and how much I hated it. However, I did not mind membrane sweeps because it's like the only natural induction method where they do it manually. The main risk with sweeps are if they get up in there and they accidentally or purposefully break your water, right? If my water gets broken, that could be a good sign because it could kick my body into labor if it's ready. It could be a bad sign if she's not ready to come. That's the only thing that I get hesitant about in terms of sweeps because if they break my water and you know she's not ready to come out, I'm on the clock for like 48 hours and then I'd probably have to get medically induced if she didn't come. So that's my only thing. I've been feeling a lot of early labor signs lots of intense cramping, some tightening contractions here and there, nothing really painful yet, but a lot of pressure pain right at my cervix. And so just a lot more signs that are present that seem like labor is soon than I had last time with Rowie. So I'm going into this appointment today thinking if I get a sweep, if it does nothing, it does nothing. And I still am standing by the, I'm not getting medically induced unless, and it's an absolute emergency. However, if it does something, it does something, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so I wanted to be clear because I had originally stated several weeks ago, I wasn't going to touch anything until 40 and I'm changing my mind. And I think it's okay to do that. I'm putting my life out there for everyone. You do you, I'm doing me. We're going to see how this day goes. Hold on. My husband's coming back out here. <laughs> Bye. I probably will put this at the very beginning of my labor vlog because <laughs> if it starts labor, it starts it. If not, at least it's part of the process. So we are gonna head to my appointment and we will see how this day goes. Hey gang, okay, it's been several hours. Bro, he's playing with a pad. So we went to Sam's and walked around after I had my checkup. I did do a sweep. I've just been really crampy, nothing crazy. I am currently at a one, 60 to 70% of face. Very ripe, if you will. Um, but we're just hanging out, so just check it in. Hey guys, okay, Hunter's in the shower, so that's why that's running. I am exhausted. It is currently Sunday, January 15th, and Wow, I just feel like since Friday, I have felt like I've been hit by a bus. Like I'm just so dead and like super crampy. Like the cramps that I had on and off have just been kind of like constantly dull, really achy in my lower back around my cervix. And so I've just been trying to take it easy, but still no noticeable contractions other than just the really crampy feeling. I just lost a lot more of my mucus plug. It's got to be close to the rest of it, but it was a pretty significant amount. And so I think that's all a good sign. Obviously things are trying to get going, but it's just so hard in the waiting game. You have like literally no idea when it's actually going to go down. So that's where we're at right now. I think we are going to head to church in about an hour and a half. And so I'm just laying down while I have a couple of minutes to myself. Rowie is laying down in her bed. I don't think she's asleep yet, but that's our game plan. We're kind of just going to hang out today, probably get a few other things taken care of in the house just so we can have everything clean and like ready to go for this week. But yeah, that's the plan. Just wanted to check in. Good morning, you guys. It is currently 7.20 a.m. on January 19th. <laughs> today is my due date and I am having contractions, which... I'm so excited about it. I'm trying not to get too excited because I know anything can go down and this could come and go and do whatever, but I went to bed last night. I noticed several. They were pretty consistent, still pretty far apart. I was woken up by a few this morning around six and I've been awake ever since just kind of hanging out. I don't want to be like too fixated on them because I know they're just going to get way more intense, but I do want to kind of be able to gauge where I'm at. So. I've been timing for about an hour now and they are anywhere from 30 to 40 seconds long, about 10 to 15 minutes apart. So 
that's good we're starting somewhere it's so weird like leading up to it you just like don't know you know it's like you're crampy you're crampy you're like I feel a lot of tightening is this a contraction is it not and then like now where I'm at like these are contractions <laughs> I forget but I'm like oh wait now I remember this is exactly what this is because I can just like feel it, it I feel it you know so that is exciting I'm trying to like rest and not get just too worked up because I know we have a while ahead of us but I'm excited I feel like this is a good day for this stuff to be going down. I have my 40 week biophysical today. So they'll do the ultrasound to check like my fluids and everything. And we will see about getting checked and like see what's up. So that's the plan. I'm going to just chill right now. Hunter's sleeping, Rowie's still asleep. Rowie's not feeling good, which is so sad. It's been really hard trying to like take care of her, but like manage myself. But I am going to read my bible and make some coffee and just breathe this morning see how things progress but i just wanted to check in we just got back from the midwives office and mabry is 70 percent of face two to three centimeters dilated it's go time yep so we're sitting at a stop light we're sitting at with a train yard a train we got some taco bell because <coughs> mama's over cooking <laughs> Had fast food like the past three days. <laughs> That's fine. But we did. My kid has a cough and it's time for a nap. You want the some chaos. Blast? No. We did another sweep. Airplane rose. My midwife said she's sure it will probably move things a little faster and I've been feeling some things. So we're gonna go hang out, eat our food. Roby's gonna take a nap. And we're gonna see how this day goes. Happy due date, Reesey girl. Family is on the way. Okay. <laughs> I am so tired. Rowie is currently taking a nap. Hunter is out doing homework. And I am trying to rest. I like wanna get up, but I'm so exhausted. I wanna like just keep laying here. My contractions are like 10 to 15 minutes apart. And they are pretty intense feeling when they come and they last about a minute. 45 seconds to a minute so we're chilling I don't I'm debating like do I want to sit here and just rest before it like all gears up or do I want to help gear them up I don't know right now I'm leaning towards just resting so it's coming Guess which one of us is in labor? <laughs> this girl. That one. <laughs> Vlogging. <laughs> Birth log. <laughs> Reese. <laughs> What's daddy Are doing? She's laughing. Was that fun? These three have been under 10 minutes apart. Yeah. Contractions are coming. They are building. They feel intense. However, I'm so happy to be at home doing this and not in a hospital like last time because it was rough. Being hooked up, being so exhausted, being pushed to have more Pitocin because things weren't moving fast enough. 
not being able to eat. I was so hungry. So this is so much better. We went on a mile family walk. Nothing crazy. Hunters in and out. I feel like all day my contractions have been about 10 to 15 minutes apart, which feels like not much progress, but the way that they feel in intensity, I feel like something's gotta be going down. So that's that. Right now, the past three I've had are under 10 minutes apart. So 8.30, 9.58 lasting about 40 seconds so we're getting somewhere for sure we just put Riley down for bed and we're just gonna hang out I think I'm truly trying to wait this out as long as possible our hospital is 30 minutes away which is a little sketchy to be waiting as long as possible and currently we have family planning to get here tomorrow and then a couple of them come in tonight so if there's like um, an emergency, we're gonna have to bring her out. Give an update. Yeah, shed some light on the situation. <laughs> yeah, sure. What do you I'm have sorry, to bring? I don't know why I'm being so what do you have to bring? Uh, no, come on. Oh, all of our laundry. There you go. <laughs> this is your life, folks. Yep. Got anything to add? No. <laughs> Mary's been having some some C's. <laughs> Uh, she's doing really good. Thanks. <laughs> That's all I have. Yeah. Family's coming, so we're excited. Yep. Rowie is sleeping. Yep. I said we just put her down. We're just chilling. The dogs be acting. <sighs> they are getting close. Okay, that's that for right now. We're signing off. Signing off. I'll let you know if these bad boys get any closer together. If they get any closer together, we're going to the hospital. <laughs> sample right now. A little TV, the monitors. Should be cool. Hey gang, so we left for the hospital. Clearly I am checked in now. I am officially six centimeters dilated, 90% effaced. These contractions are killing. Um, but I'm trying my best to get through them right now. I'm on the monitors. Um, they're doing an NST and then I'll be able to get off. And walk around there's a tub in here so i can labor in the tub for a little bit which i am pumped for but that's kind of where we're at i'm feeling exhausted yeah that's pretty much the update right now hunter just went out to go grab maddie she's gonna hang out with us too so we'll see how long this thing lasts <laughs> hey, <get going. laughs> we're rolling what is the update what is the update? It is currently 38 in the morning. 38. We're tired. We're a little sleepy. Um, this is our room. We got Madison chilling on the couch. Here's Mabry's bed. I'm going to go show him the jacuzzi. <laughs> the jacuzzi. There it is. Here's dad. Hey. Hey, Mom. Hey. 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 Hey.
for nine centimeters. So just a little bit of cervix left on the left side. And we're going to be in the tub for a little while. We're getting somewhere. It's happening. Mama is officially ahead of where she was. And she got in the pool with Rowie. So things are going. She looks wonderful. Oh, thank you. And they'll draw her blood later today. No mm -hmm. rush on that. <laughs> You're so nice. She's a precious thing. You're so nice. She's precious. <coughs> Here we are. New center. Hey guys, meeting Mabry's food. <laughs> yeah. We're in the postpartum room. It's been like how many hours now? It's been 15 hours. 15 hours since labor. I don't think we really updated much after. There was kind of a lot, a lot going on, but I gave birth at 4.14 in the morning. We were in that room for like a few hours. We moved into postpartum. Mm -hmm. My dad came, my sisters came. We've just been chilling and then we get discharged in the morning. We're very exhausted, but reese has been sleeping real good. And eating good. She's so cute. And eating good. And we're really excited for Rowie to be here tomorrow. Hey gang. We're here. Hours later. <laughs> it's currently almost 12 p.m. on Saturday. What day is today? It's Saturday. The 21st. A Hunter and I are sick. Rowie got us sick right before we went to labor, so we don't feel great. But we are ready to go home. <laughs> so we've got our bags packed. As a little sign, like a get us out of here. And we're waiting on our final discharge. Mm -hmm. That's the update. Barks. Hey guys, it's officially been a week with our little racy girl. It's been the best. She is just like the absolute sweetest. We've really just been resting. I remember with Rowie, I really struggled to rest like the first two weeks. I acted like nothing happened and I was up. We were shopping, we were thrifting, we were going to museums, like we were doing everything and I remember feeling it in my bones. I was constantly nauseous and dizzy. I remember being dizzy all the time. Like I would be just pushing myself way too hard and I was like, I'm not doing that this time. So I am so proud of myself. We literally, I have not left this entire week. Like we've gone in the car, but I've never gone out anywhere and I feel much better. It's been nice. We've had family here, just kind of been chilling, relaxing. But yeah, I am gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for watching our labor and delivery vlog with little Reese girl coming into the world. It's always such a fun time and something so cool to like go back and, and watch. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did and I'll see y'all in the next one.